Hello everyone, it's Pastorus Rex, and today I have a redstone showcase. I would like to pre present to you the motion-activated door. You can see if we go through this way, it'll open up. It's a 3x3 three three door that works with budding of this lamp here. The, uh, this redstone dot here will bud power the lamp, and then you'll see will or it'll unpower and then now it's budded and if you want more on budding and how update detectors work because that's essentially what is powering this door i do have a video on that you can check out the i cards or maybe a link down in the description depends on where i remember to put them but uh <laughs> yeah pretty cool door this is also sort of uh I guess a response to a mumbo jumbo challenge he did issue a challenge a while ago to build a three by three door that had this lamp budding technique as the activation for it and you can see we'll just pull back all this blue here and uh yeah the door my door is uh not not that much to be honest, it's too wide, or too thick, I guess, a too thick slice that has a whole bunch. Over over here, I kind of started to get fed up with the, pro the project, which is a thing that happens. Um, but, uh, so this is not quite optimized, so I guess this video sort of um, comes as a challenge to you guys. To see if you can optimize this, I will, uh, I will put a, I just forgot what that redstone dot was for, um, I will put a world download in the description that has this door here, so you can test it out, and hopefully optimize it, so that you can stop this sort of shakiness at the top here, and also stop this. I mean, I'm not too concerned about this, but these two blocks will swap. You saw that there. Um, so you could consider consider that a flaw if you want. Um, but if you have a solid color door, it doesn't matter. Anyways, that is pretty much it. Uh, pretty pretty tricky in order to get it so that. This observer was the last thing pushed in and was pushed in after all the updates to this lamp were done. You can see it's just like a couple ticks away from that lamp turning off, which uh, happens there. And that's why there's differing delays here and cauldrons and everything. And then on this side, this section here, which I've pulled out here and actually maybe design it, someone else might have a design, is a vertical version of this comparator delay. So, functions the exact same way, and, I mean, if you want it to stay on forever, just get rid of that piece of redstone. Same as if you got rid of this piece of redstone and put a block there. It'll stay on forever, but uh, this will cause it to tick down. And, yeah, I needed a one-wide thing to fit in here so that I could keep it in the two-wide gap. But, again, that was sort of at the end, and this side might not be optimized. This, all this stuff is just for this double piston extender, and uh, this piston that pulls the block out of the way. This whole side is for this piston, this update, uh... The thing that sort of makes the whole thing work, this uh, auto detector or update detector setup, and then also triggers this double piston extender at the top. All this down here is mostly for pulling this observer out of the way without triggering more updates and stuff, because you can see that piston moving back and forth as it's activated. But yeah love to see what you guys can come up with and uh and uh yeah 
hope to see some pretty some more compact designs ideally that's my challenge to all of you anyways good luck and i will see you guys next time